International donors pledged close to $1.5 billion in humanitarian aid for Sudan and the broader region on Monday. That's roughly half the $3 billion the UN says is needed. Secretary General Antonio Guterres sounded the alarm on the conflict the same day. I am particularly concerned by reports of gender-based and sexual violence and by the ethnic dimension of the violence in Janina. Targeted attacks against civilians based on their ethnic identities could amount to crimes against humanity. Among the biggest donors, Germany, the U.S. and Qatar. The U.N. says it's setting aside another $22 million for the most urgent needs. The war between Sudan's army and the paramilitary rapid support forces began in mid-April. It sparked amid ongoing tensions over an internationally backed plan for a transition towards elections under a civilian government. The conflict has left more than 3,000 people dead, turned the capital Khartoum into a war zone, and triggered deadly violence in other parts of the country, including the western region of Darfur. The U.S. and Russia are dangerously close to an armed conflict. This year, 2023, New Delhi will be the capital of global diplomacy. For a country as diverse as ours, with 88% of the population illiterate, it was a very big deal to write a constitution, and that too, the world's largest. Meanwhile, if we may, here's a Republic Day gift from India for the BBC. A list of suggestions for the BBC for their upcoming documentaries. Number one, the Kohinoor and the Colonial Loot. Number two, an outdated monarchy and unhealthy obsession with the royals. Number three, racism in 2023. We're waiting. U.S. and Russia are dangerously close to an armed conflict. This year, 2023, New Delhi will be the capital of global diplomacy. For a country as diverse as ours, with 88% of the population illiterate, it was a very big deal to write a constitution, and that too, the world's largest. Meanwhile, if we may, here's a Republic Day gift from India for the BBC. A list of suggestions for the BBC for their upcoming documentaries. Number one, the Kohinoor and the Colonial Loot. Number two, an outdated monarchy and unhealthy obsession with the royals. Number three, racism in 2023. We're waiting. 